Hello everyone, my name is Shyam Tiwari, student of Lucknow University Faculty of Engineering and Technology, Department of Civil Engineering. I am going to uh, present my seminar topic. My topic is Design Aspect of Blast Resistant Structure. Introduction. One of the most popular design issue subject is properly applied in modern and important buildings, emerging branch in the field of structural engineering. Objective of blast design reduce the severity of injury, facility recuse, expedite repair, accelerate the speed of return to full operations. Here are the types of blasts moving vehicle attack, stationary vehicle bomb, exterior attack, arsons, others and blastic attacks. Major cause of life loss after the blast. Flying debris, broken glass, smoke and fires, blocked glass, power loss, communication breakdown, progressive collapse of structure. Principle of blast resistance design. Maintain safe separation of attackers and target. That is standoff to zone. Designed to sustain the and contain certain amount of bomb damage, avoid progressive collapse of building. Allow for limited localized damage of the members. Minimize the quantity and hazard of broken glass and blast induced debris. Facilitate rescue and recovery operation with the adequate time of evacuation of occupants. Blast load definition. An explosion is a rapid release of the potential energy characterized by the eruption, enormous energy to the atmosphere. A part of energy is converted to thermal energy radiation, that is flash, and part is collapsed as, per, as air blast and shock waves, which expand rapidly. Blast load. Overpressure thermal energy radiation, audible blast, air blast, dynamic pressure. Basic requirement of resist blast loads. The first requirement is the determined threat. The major threat is caused by terrorist. The threat for the conventional bomb is defined by two equal important elements, the bomb size or charge weight, the standoff distance. Another requirement is to keep the bomb as far away as possible. Treatments provided to various parts of the structure to improve blast resisting mechanism. Planning a layout. Sufficient standoff distance must be provided. In the case of congested areas where there is no provision for standoff distance, bollards, trees, and street furniture are provided as obstacles. Like this. You can see these pictures. This is the design for the site location and layout. Here we have building and a driveway, vehicle barrier, guard, pavement, adjacent property, and planet bollard. The width of this uh, premises is 30 meter. Standoff distance, blockades, planter, fountains, fence as obstacles to remain vehicle or truck bomb. Allow only emergency vehicle access. Raise the building two meter above ground level, as you can see in this diagram. Roofs, arches, and domes are the types of structural form that reduce the blast effect on the building compared with the cubicle form. Flooring, they must be prevented from the falling off their supports. Precast flooring is to be avoided in the case of blast resistant structures. Wrapping of the columns. Wrapping is done for the external protection of the columns and to protect the column from the shock waves. Two types of wrapping can be applied. Wrapping with steel belt or wrapping with the carbon fiber reinforced polymer that is CFRP. Installation and bomb 
settler areas. Gas, water, steam, installation, electrical connections, elevators, and water storage system should be planted to resist any explosion effects. The bombs settler areas are specially designed, designated within the building where vulnerabilities from the effect of the explosion is at minimum and where personnel can retire in the event of bomb threat warning. Glazing and cladding. Glass from broken and shattered window could be responsible for large number of injuries caused by explosion in a city center. Miscellaneous measures. Partially or fully embedded buildings are quite blast resistant. Projected roofs and floors are undesirable. Single story buildings are most blast resistant than multi story building. Double door should be used. Case study WTC collapse. On 11 September 2001, two passenger plans were, were, were hijacked by the terrorist and crashed into the uh, WTC tower in the New York. The impact of the plan cra plane crash directly caused significant structural damage to both World Trade Center towers. The multiple floor fires ignited by the jet fuel finally weakened the remaining and tower collapsed. Israel as a case study. Israel has adapted military blast design to blast design to be used as a part of civilian structures. In the 1970s, civilians in Israel were being threatened along its border with Lebanon. Throughout the north, northern Israel rooms designed to protect the building, inhabitants from an explosion were included in most homes as well as school as public buildings. First Indian Blast Resistant Building Unique Identification Authority of India is the first completely blast resistant building in India. Constructed by Engineers India Limited EIL Spread over 6245 square meter the center has storage capacity of 6 petabyte with 4000 servers. It is not practical to design building to withstand any conceivable terrorist attack. It is possible to improve the performance of the structure should one occur in the form of, of an external explosion. Design process to ensure that appropriate threat condition and level of protection are being incorporated. Reference the 14th World Conference on Bomb Resistance Design, October 12, 17, 2008, Beijing, China. India, Indian Standard Criteria for Blast Resistant Design of Structures for Explosion Above Ground. Third reprint, August 1993. UDC 69985. Thank you so much for, for your support.